Dopamine, often referred to as the pleasure molecule, is a neurotransmitter that plays a vital role in motivation and desire. It is the driving force behind our actions and behaviors, providing us with the necessary motivation to take decisive steps towards our goals. The significance of dopamine extends beyond mere pleasure. It encompasses a broader range of functions within the brain. It acts as a catalyst for desire, igniting our internal motivation and propelling us towards action. This neurotransmitter creates a sense of anticipation, instilling within us the drive to pursue our aspirations and accomplish meaningful tasks. To comprehend the power of dopamine, it is helpful to explore its impact through various scientific studies. Researchers have conducted experiments that shed light on the relationship between dopamine and our inclination towards rewards, offering valuable insights into its role in motivation. In these studies, participants were exposed to stimulations that affected dopamine release within their brains. The stimulation of dopamine levels induced a strong craving for rewards. Individuals became highly motivated to pursue these rewards, often prioritizing them over their basic needs. On the contrary, when dopamine release was hindered or blocked, a noticeable change occurred in participants' behavior. They experienced a significant decline in motivation and became lethargic, losing the drive to engage in rewarding activities. This striking observation emphasizes the critical role dopamine plays in our motivation and determination. The dopamine effect in humans. Our brains have evolved to develop priorities based on the anticipation of the dopamine release. When we engage in activities that offer the potential for a rewarding dopamine surge, such as playing video games or scrolling through social media, our brain registers these experiences as pleasurable and motivates us to repeat them. These high dopamine activities capture our attention and effortlessly draw us in. For instance, think about the excitement and anticipation you feel when you receive a notification on your phone. Whether it's a message from a friend or a social media update, the potential for a rewarding dopamine surge creates a strong urge to check and respond immediately. The gratification obtained from these interactions reinforces the behavior, making us more likely to seek out similar experiences in the future. On the other hand, activities with low dopamine release may not elicit the same level of motivation or excitement. Tasks like studying or working often require more effort and concentration, and they may not provide an immediate or intense dopamine boost. As a result, we may find ourselves procrastinating or struggling to sustain motivation for these low dopamine activities. Take studying as an example. The act of studying typically involves focused attention, mental effort, and delayed gratification. While the long-term rewards of acquiring knowledge and achieving academic success are significant, they often pale in comparison to the immediate pleasure and instant dopamine gratification provided by high dopamine activities, like watching entertaining videos or engaging in social media interactions. This disparity in dopamine release can create a challenge when it comes to prioritizing our time and energy. We are naturally drawn to activities that offer immediate rewards and gratification, which can make it difficult to resist the allure of high dopamine activities in favor of tasks that may seem less immediately rewarding. Before we continue, we would like to express our gratitude for your support. We appreciate every comment, like, and subscription. Thank you very much. It means really a lot to us. Dopamine tolerance and homeostasis. Our brain seeks homeostasis, a state of equilibrium, not only in physical conditions, but also in dopamine levels. When we expose ourselves to consistently high levels of dopamine, our brain adapts by downregulating dopamine receptors, leading to a phenomenon known as dopamine tolerance. Dopamine hmm. tolerance occurs when our brain becomes hmm. less responsive to the same hmm. levels of dopamine release over time. As a result, activities that once provided a moderate dopamine boost now fail to elicit the same level of interest and motivation. We may find ourselves seeking higher levels of stimulation or engaging in riskier behaviors in an attempt to experience the same level of pleasure and motivation we once had. 
This tolerance can pose significant challenges for individuals attempting to break free from addictive behaviors. The brain becomes accustomed to the elevated dopamine levels associated with addictive substances or activities, making it increasingly difficult to find motivation and pleasure in everyday activities. Dopamine Detox Breaking free from dopamine tolerance requires a conscious effort to reset our brain's sensitivity to dopamine. During a dopamine detox, individuals abstain from high dopamine activities for a specific period, allowing their dopamine receptors to recover and regain their natural sensitivity. In our modern world, where high dopamine activities are readily available and constantly vying for our attention, it's essential to recognize the importance of dopamine detoxes. A complete dopamine detox involves dedicating a specific period, such as a day, weekend, or even a month, to abstain from all sources of external pleasure that provide intense dopamine surges. This means putting away our smartphones, turning off the television, and avoiding activities like gaming, social media, or binge-watching our favorite shows. It may initially feel challenging to disconnect from these habitual behaviors, but the benefits are worth the effort. During a dopamine detox, embracing boredom becomes a transformative practice. Instead of seeking constant entertainment and stimulation, we intentionally create space for stillness and reflection. Embracing boredom allows our brains to recalibrate and rediscover the inherent value and enjoyment in activities that do not rely on dopamine spikes. Engaging in low dopamine activities during a dopamine detox can be an enlightening experience. Simple tasks like reading a book, taking a walk in nature, practicing mindfulness or meditation, or engaging in hobbies that require focused attention can suddenly become more enjoyable and fulfilling. The benefits of dopamine detoxes extend beyond regaining motivation for low dopamine activities. They also help us cultivate mindfulness, sharpen our focus, and develop a healthier relationship with technology and external stimuli. Moreover, dopamine detoxes can provide a renewed sense of clarity and purpose. As we step away from the constant barrage of external stimulation, we create space for introspection and self-reflection. This can lead to insights about our priorities, values, and long-term goals. We may discover that some of our high dopamine activities have been consuming a significant amount of our time and energy, diverting our attention from what truly matters to us. A dopamine detox can serve as a reset button, allowing us to realign our actions with our aspirations. Leveraging High Dopamine Activities While dopamine detoxes are crucial for rebalancing our brain's sensitivity to dopamine, it's important to note that high dopamine activities can still have a place in our lives. Rather than completely eliminating them, we can leverage these activities strategically to enhance our motivation and productivity. One effective approach is to use high dopamine activities as rewards for completing difficult tasks or achieving specific milestones. By tracking and prioritizing low dopamine work, such as cleaning, practicing skills, reading, or exercising, we create a sense of accomplishment and progress. Once we have completed these tasks, we can allocate dedicated time for indulging in high dopamine activities as a well-deserved reward. The key to leveraging high dopamine activities is to be intentional and disciplined. It's important to set clear boundaries and time limits for engaging in these activities. Without mindful regulation, they can easily consume excessive amounts of time and become distractions that hinder our progress and productivity. Additionally, it's worth exploring alternative high dopamine activities that align with our long-term goals or personal development. Instead of defaulting to passive forms of entertainment like watching TV shows or mindlessly scrolling through social media feeds, we can seek out activities that provide both enjoyment and growth. This could include activities like learning a musical instrument, engaging in creative pursuits, participating in sports or physical activities, or exploring new hobbies that stimulate our minds and bodies. In conclusion, leveraging high dopamine activities can be a powerful tool for motivation when used strategically and mindfully. By prioritizing and completing low dopamine tasks before indulging in these activities, 
We maintain our focus, productivity, and motivation. Moreover, by consciously selecting high dopamine activities that align with our goals and values, we can transform them into opportunities for growth and fulfillment. It's all about finding the right balance between immediate gratification and long-term progress. Thank you for watching. And if you are interested in how to build a good habits and break the bad ones, you can watch our next video where we discuss transforming book atomic habits by James Clear. Or if you are curious about how to embrace mindfulness, you can watch our other video where we share some practical tips for incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine. Remember, you have the power within you to create the life you desire. So, take the first step today and begin your journey towards a happier, more successful and fulfilling life.